Okay, the next step in any spatial analysis is to define the spatial weight matrix. And we're going to use a contiguous spatial weight matrix here. Um, and so this is this one here. And just to be clear, what this is going to do is it's going to say, how do we identify um, areas that are next to the um, particular area that we're looking at? And we'll just have a look at um, what we're using. So for us, um, this is contiguous areas here. You can see this is the um, area of analysis and we're going to use what's called a queen contiguity, which means that all of these areas around here are defined as being contiguous. If we used a rook contiguity, then we would be looking at something like this one over here, where you can only, like chess, move up or across. Um, but we're using a queen contiguity, which is this one here. Um, and so uh, let's go back and we'll select that. Um, now not totally obvious here, this tick here means that you've selected the queen contiguity. If that's off, then you've used the rook contiguity. Um, so we've selected our data set. This has got to be the spatialized data set. Um, the weight matrix order is one, and so we're only going to be going one distance away. Um, if we go back to this website here, now I should add this is just straight from the Euron website. <laughs> um, so uh, you can see here the order of contiguity, um, and so it's how far we're going with that bordering polygon. So we're only going one block away rather than two or three where we could go if we wanted to. Uh, so let's go back to here. Um, so we've got that as one. Um, we row standardize these, that's just a standard way of doing things, and um, we'll leave that checked also. Um, you can see all the documentation for those in that um, documentation for the contiguous spatial weight matrix on the Euron website. Um, we'll give us a new name down here, and um, we can now run that. Now that'll give us a spatial weight matrix we can use for all of our spatial analysis. Um, it's not dependent on a variable at all. All it's saying is that the, this particular um, block that we're looking at, um, SA2 in our case, these are the areas around it. Um, so, um, so that's all that this is doing. So we'll add and run, and uh, that'll create the um, spatial weight matrix.